yay we are so excited today is cruise day we are here in miami let's go Okay, so for most people that are cruising out of Miami, you will arrive by flight to Miami International Airport, and that's where we're at now. When you arrive here at Miami's International Airport, there are three levels to the arrival area. The first thing you're gonna do is, if you had checked baggage, you'll come down to level number one and get the checked baggage. But then if you have some time before you need to arrive at the cruise terminal, one thing you can do is you can go to level two, and there's plenty of options of food to eat. They have Subway, Taco Bell, KFC, Margaritaville, Starbucks. So we went up, grabbed a Subway sandwich, freshened up a bit, and now we're heading back down to level number one. Let's talk about that. Level number one is key for ground transportation. Now, if you arrive the day before or multiple days before your cruise, level number one is where you're gonna link up with that ground transportation to your hotel or wherever you're staying. And then if you arrive the day of your cruise, and as your friendly travel advisor, I would never recommend that you fly in the day of your cruise. So there's multiple ways that you can get to the cruise terminal. Again, it's only about a 12 minute drive away if traffic's not bad. One option you have is you could book that transportation with the cruise line that you booked the cruise with. So they have different stations. For example, right now, we are in Royal Caribbean's link up place. So this is where you would go for Royal Caribbean. You'll link up with them, they'll get your name, and they'll get you on that shuttle going to the cruise terminal. Now we are not booked with Royal today. We are going on the Carnival Horizon. So you could also go on Carnival Cruise Line shuttle, but we didn't do that. We actually are taking a taxi. A taxi is one of the simplest and one of the cheapest options to get to the cruise terminal. Now it can be scary for some because they're wondering about where do you go to link up with the taxis? Where's all of that at? Well look, it is literally here on level number one. It's right outside the doors, super well organized. They have the yellow taxis, they are all lined up. And when you step outside, they're ready to link you up. Now I mentioned the price is really good and it is. It's only $27. That is the price for the entire vehicle. So you really can't beat that. So what we're gonna do right now is we're going to walk you outside and we're gonna show you how simple it is to go through this taxi process. All right, Kale, we're ready. Oh good, I've gotta get out of this place. It is frigidly cold in the Miami International Airport. Come on, let's go get the taxi. It's a flat $27 to the port. Okay. okay. Thank you. Okay, so we just arrived at the cruise terminal and Kelly, what did you think about the taxi ride and that whole process? Okay, that process was super, super easy. Um, we got right in the taxi, quick 15 minute drive here, um, paid our money, the porters were right there. They grabbed our luggage, very simple, highly recommended. Now, they mentioned that it is a weekend now, it's a Sunday, so it's very quick here now. Obviously, depending on what time of day you come in and if you're on a during the week kind of cruise, if you're coming this way, it may take a little bit longer, but $27 for the yellow cabs. That's the ones that will take you to the cruise port. So if you are driving into the cruise port, one option for parking is basically directly across the street from the cruise terminal. You can park there, but I would recommend uh, to pull up to the cruise terminal, drop off your luggage first, and then go park. It will save you some time and effort. Okay, it's time to link up with Kelly and head in that cruise terminal. Let's go find that girl. Ready to go cruise? I am so ready. All right, let's do it. Okay, if you arrive a little bit early to your check-in time like we have, no fear. You can go ahead and go inside, get in processed, and they have a waiting area on the inside. So we're about to do that. We're gonna go in and chill out. 
that we won't be able to do much filming as we're going through the check-in and security process. So we're gonna put the cameras away, but we'll pop up on the other side and let you know what it's like. Okay, so we have made it through the process. That is very simple. There's three things you're gonna do. The very first thing you're gonna do is you're going to come to a counter. And when you get to that counter, you're going to need a few things. You're going to need your boarding pass. You're also gonna need your travel documents. The travel documents will either be your passport or it will include your birth certificate and state issued ID. At that time, you will also need the COVID documentation. So this would include, for example, like your vaccination card and then also the proof of your negative COVID test. Once you complete all of that, you'll go through a security check where that's the second thing, by the way, where you'll put your uh, stuff in a little tray and it goes through and it gets scanned. You won't have to take off your belt and your shoes like you do at an airport, but you'll go through that and then you come to the third and the final thing here at the waiting area and that's what's right behind me and that is guest services. And here at guest services, you will need your boarding pass once again and then once again, you'll also need that travel documentation. Again, either your passport or birth certificate and state issued ID. At that time, they snap your photo so they have that on file. They ask you to take a seat and then you will wait until your boarding zone is called and when that's called, you're getting on the ship. So we have came on board, we came upstairs, we got a guy's burger, we got something to drink. We had a great time hanging out with friends. Yes. And now we're just chilling up here on the top deck. Kelly, we haven't set sail yet. We haven't even got to get in our rooms yet. What are you thinking about the port here at Miami? Okay, I really, really like the port of Miami. I believe of all the ports that I've ever sailed at, I believe Miami may be the most beautiful. Absolutely. Get that camera out. You're going to have lots of fun taking pictures. It is beautiful. In fact, the next time we come here, especially when we bring the family, this is a port we may want to come a day or two early and just check out this area. It is beautiful all around. Yes. And another really great thing about the Port of Miami is it is a big cruise port. And so when you come in, you're not just seeing the ship you get on. You're probably going to see lots of ships and it's just really exciting. So they just announced that our room is ready, so we are going to go down and check it out. Excited on, so to see it, let's go. Oh, we're getting close. I can feel it. So we just got to our cabin, and as you can see here, our luggage is already waiting for us. Now you will find your key card in the little slot here. So here's our key cards. Let's go in and check out our room. Come on, let's go. All right, so what we have here is a standard balcony cabin on the Carnival Horizon. And we open this up. Oh, oh, <laughs> I did not break that. <laughs> Easy there, Kel. We've only been on the horizon for a short time, so we want to go easy on the ship. I did not break that. Okay, we're going to tell our room steward about that. But Did it, did it break? What happened? It, it fell off the hinge. Oh, this did? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I didn't see it. Oh, oh, check it out, check it out. I promise you, I promise you, I am not that strong, but we'll have our room steward take a look at that.
Check it out. Let's see. It, it sounds like it's got good power. Right. So, <laughs> and here's the small sink area. I'll let you check that out. We got our um, mirror here with like super magnifying if you need to take care of any issues so on look your face. i'm sort of curious <laughs> on that one so what do you do like you sitting down here like you know what let me just spin this bad boy around <laughs> oh wow i'm not sure i want to see it from that angle that's looking a little rough no 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 we want to keep that thing just keep it like pushed over to the wall because i am not so sure i want to be looking at that but then again there's this big mirror right here <laughs> Maybe, maybe they have like some of those like blinder things you can put on and you can just wear that in here when you come to the bathroom. I don't know. Whatever works for you. You do you. Let's keep moving on in this room tour here. It says there's life jackets under the bed. There are no life jackets under our bed. Here. <laughs> I can't see your feet. I'm stuck. <laughs> Hold on, I got I got something. <laughs> oh, what is that? I found it. Oh, yay! <laughs> We start going down, we're good. Okay, so now we are heading to the muster brief. Now, if you have cruised in the past, you know that usually involved going at a specific time in a specific place with a load of other people. It usually took a half hour, 45 minutes, something like that. It is much more simpler now, pretty much on every cruise ship. And basically what you do is you have the muster station location you go to, you go there, you get one person from your party, gets their sell and signing card, scan showing that your stateroom knows where to go in case of emergency they give you a quick brief on how to use the life jacket where it's at emergency procedures perfect perfect any question for me you guys ready to go yeah all right Enjoy thank you all right all right so they just sounded the horn and we're beginning to sail away here from the port at miami and then we're gonna be heading down here in just a few moments for the sailway party and we're gonna take you along with us oh 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 push up Responsibility you have is to have fun. Leave work behind. The sound needed renovation. Come on there, cupcake. You're killing me, babe. <laughs> <laughs> you want a piggyback ride? Yes. Ready? Hop on. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Cut! <laughs> you freak. Why do you have your mask like flopped over one ear? You look like you're like pumping a gas <laughs> pump. and You gotta be prepared. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know where to go from there. <laughs> All right. So here's the deal. We are acting like flaming fools because we are slap happy we have been don't do that again <laughs> we'll have trouble we have been going for this 2 a.m yeah we just got ready to look hey hey, hey looking fancy what oh, looking fancy Woo! going to dinner mm. i do all that for me but y'all clicked out of the video uh. but we are hurting how are you feeling Kel? i am so tired like I told Jason, like, we cannot sit down. We have to, must keep going or we're going to fall asleep. So we're going yep. straight to dinner. Rocking on. And then. Yeah, so are we, we are hurting back. I don't know, but look, we're going to rock on. Don't click out of the video. We're gonna, we'll find some energy somewhere. <laughs> we'll buy some somewhere. Coffee. Um, coffee. We'll get huh? coffee. Come on, let's go get let's coffee. Go get we coffee. need coffee <laughs> right now. <laughs> I am so excited, so 
We've been to assigned dining a lot, and this is the first time that we've actually been assigned right by the window, so I'm super stoked about this one. All right, Kill. so how was your appetizer? First, let's talk about that. Okay, my appetizer was absolutely delicious. It had the calamari, and I love it. Why aren't you showing it to us, Kelly? Um, because I ate it before we could get a video of it. What a bad girl. <laughs> All right, what do you got Sorry. for what do you got for okay. dinner? So I got sweet and spicy shrimp and rice. It's gonna be a seafood kind of night for me. Okay. That's good. It's sweet and spicy. Why don't you tell me about what you had as an appetizer? All right, I had the quesadilla as an appetizer, but like Kelly, we are so tired. And it was really good, you know, and we're just chit-chatting. We forgot, like, hey, we need to film this. But I got the salmon steamed vegetables, and it, I'm going to give it a try. Looks good, but look, i got to say, it's looking a little small, so I already told Kelly. I think I'm going to have to go get a guy's burger after we get done with dinner tonight. But anyway, we'll give it a go here, see what we think. Tell me about that dessert, babe. This is the chocolate milky cake. Anybody that's selling carnival, it's like we have this available at every dining room option. But one thing we do is we get the peanut butter with it. I've already put it in here. Vanilla ice cream. It's like a Reese cup kind of thing. So uh, anyway, it's good stuff. On a scale of one to ten. Mm, I'll give it an eight. Wow. It's good. So it has been an amazing day on the Carnival Horizon, but we are exhausted and we have decided to come to bed early tonight, get a good night's sleep, and get up early tomorrow. We have a fun day at sea planned, lots of fun things to do, so we need our beauty rest. Super tired. Goodbye, everybody. Good night. <laughs> it's up there somewhere. Flip the oh. button. Bye. You want to reshoot that? Let's just go to bed. Okay. Good night.